Hey guys, so for today's video, I decided to do my go-to makeup. So quick, oh my god, so quick little interruption. I meant to say my go-to summer makeup. I just said go-to makeup because I wasn't sure if I wanted to do like summer or just my go-to makeup. So I just decided to call it summer and I do have another video on summer, which is my first video, but it's a new summer let's do a new video so that's why i did it it's just like for when i want to go out and don't want to do eyeshadow this is what i do it's super easy so if you're interested and you want to know then just keep on watching excuse my nails only two of them are on and two other ones are on but they're kind of chopped off so just ignore that but this one is almost off it's just hurting right now and i kind of want to rip it off but it just doesn't come off so I'm going to be doing my eyebrows. I've always used this ever since I started filling in my eyebrows. And I use the Anastasia Dip Brow. Nothing new. And this is the Anastasia brush in number 14. So for my eyebrows, I think I'm going to start using different products. You see, you see, this is, this is what happens. But anyways, I'll be right back when I conceal them. So I plucked my own eyebrows and I feel like I did it so wrong. I just wanted to pluck them because I was gonna grow them out and I was like I'm over here doing videos and my eyebrows look like crap so I just plucked them myself which the last time I did I over plucked them it was just horrible I have concealer on top so I run my finger through the bottom so my eyebrows don't look so much of like a box shape and it helps it a little bit I hate when the concealer goes all over there like that's a waste of product I pay for this so I'm gonna be priming my face and this is a sample the benefit professional primer and just putting that basically on my t-zone I only use a little bit because a little goes a long way it's gonna last me a longer time you know what I mean you know what I'm actually just gonna go ahead and put this all over my face while I let that sit I'm just gonna be using some Carmex for my lips to moisturize them and excuse this big old pimple I woke up with it like two days ago and it's not like the ones you can pop they're like inside my skin so it hurts when I touch it also can we talk about how I finally got a new sponge and I'm gonna promise myself that I'm not gonna cut this one because I can't cut my sponges anymore because I actually missed my beauty blender being full and now I was like I'll just get a new one but I will not cut this one so now moving on to foundation. This is the Anastasia Stick Foundation in Warm Natural. And this is my go-to foundation just because it's so easy to... Oh, that hurt. It's so easy to put on. It's like you swipe it everywhere. It's like you could do it all at once. I'm actually almost out of it. Can you tell I use it a lot? I use it all the time. And I'm blending it away with this sponge and this sponge also absorbs less product which is good because most of it will go on my face than on the sponge the only part is that it's huge around here so it's like Damn. Okay, now that that's that, it matches my neck pretty good. Yeah, it matches my neck pretty good, so I'm not gonna bring it down that much. Okay, for concealer, I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, and this is now my go-to concealer because, one, well, it's full coverage, and I have, like, really dark bags, and I don't use that much because a little goes a long way, too. I'm gonna let that set a little bit so I can get the most coverage out of it. My god, it's hot in here and I'm over here wearing a long sleeve. I turned on my fan, but, but I'm gonna go back in with the concealer. Put some on my eyelid. I'm gonna take my beauty blender just because it's more smaller for me to blend it all away. blend my under eyes first and then do my uh my eyelid and use the Cody air spun to set my face bye bye shaboom voila and also set my nose because my nose is the only oily part of my face 
Let me clean up my little mess. Now I'm just gonna be dusting it all away. Gonna move on to bronzer. The bronzer I'm using is the Milani, Mil Milani Baked Bronzer in Soleil or 05. Gotta make my forehead look a little smaller and get those temples because I always forget them. Okay, I'm gonna be using a Morphe M510, right? Yeah, Morphe M510. This is new, also, I wanted to get a good blending brush to use it as a blending brush to blend all my colors together when I do eyeshadow. But this thing is so big, I feel like it's supposed to be for highlighter. But I was using some. Oh my gosh! I'm just using some bronzer to bronze up my eyes or warm up my eyes. Just because we've got no time to do eyeshadow. I'm gonna be using some rose water just to set my face. Oh, where's my handy dandy bag? It's not here. Should I go get it? Nah. For lashes, I'm gonna be using the Ardell Studio Effect Wispies. I believe that's what they're called. So I already use them, so that's why they look a little deformed. But I'm just gonna be putting those on with the Duo Strip Lash Adhesive. Okay, did I put that on right? Probably not. I took the whole eyelash off. While that's drying, I'm just gonna be putting some bronzer with an angled brush. It's kind of like a fat angled brush. And I'm putting on some mascara on my lower lash line, but not too much, cause I don't want my lashes to look like spider legs. For highlight, I'm just going to be using the Glow Care by Anastasia and Sun Dipped and using Moonstone. Not on the high points of my face. And I'm actually going somewhere, so I gotta hurry up. Mm, where else? My inner corner. For lips, I'm using the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Abbey Dubai. <clears throat> Dubai, I'm not sure. So that was pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and liked it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up to let me know you liked it. And subscribe if you haven't to see more contents like this. My social media will be in the description just in case you were wondering and wanted to follow me. But anyways, see you in my next video. Bye!